Former President Trump is doubling down on his endorsement of a controversial candidate in the Nebraska gubernatorial race. That's right. He's holding a rally tonight with several of his allies to show support for Charles Herbster. Now, Herbster is a longtime friend of Mr. Trump's and chaired his Agriculture and Rural Advisory Committee during his presidency. But last month, eight women, including a Nebraska state senator, came forward to accuse Herbster of sexually assaulting them. Herbster has denied those allegations. CBS News chief election and campaign correspondent Robert Costa now joins us for more on this. Robert, welcome. Tell us a little more about Herbster's campaign in the wake of the sexual assault allegations and what, what influence Mr. Trump has had on this campaign. Former President Trump has had an influence on Mr. Herbster's campaign. Instead of telling the candidate to proceed carefully and cautiously, uh, based on my reporting, Trump behind the scenes has been urging Herbster to stay in the race to fight the allegations. It comes right out of the Trump playbook, going back to his business career and then to his presidency. And that's part of why he's appearing in Nebraska tonight. He sees Herbster as an ally and as someone who should be a fighter in this context. Uh, let's move now to Pennsylvania, a, a crucial state. Mr. Trump is backing Dr. Mehmet Oz for the open Senate seat there. How much is that endorsement helping Dr. Oz, and is it enough to propel him into the Senate? It's a crowded Republican Senate primary in the Keystone State. Dr. Oz is a celebrity outsider, so having the Trump imprimatur on his campaign is very helpful. You see Oz now gaining in the Senate Republican primary, at least according to the latest polls. This has been a blow to Republican businessman and former Republican official David McCormick, who's married to a former top Trump advisor, Dina Powell. Hope Hicks and Stephen Miller and other Trump allies are working on the McCormick campaign. They had really been hoping for the Trump endorsement. Uh, but Pennsylvania, as someone who grew up there, tracked politics, can sometimes be an unpredictable state. Just because Trump has made an endorsement doesn't mean Dr. Oz is guaranteed to be Senator Oz. This will go down to the wire in a crowded field. We'll be watching. Bob, you're going to Ohio next week, as you know, to cover the Senate race there. Uh, like in so many other states with elections this year, GOP candidates uh, there are promoting themselves as pro-Trump Republicans. But there is one Republican candidate in Ohio, Matt Dolan, who's taking an opposite approach. How's that race shaping up? Dolan has been written off by many Republicans in Ohio, at least in recent weeks, but he is suddenly gaining in recent polls. And you see in the Ohio Senate Republican primary race, so many candidates are trying to embrace the Trump political brand and message that Mr. Dolan has been able to carve out his own space politically in Ohio. He's someone who comes from the Dolan family, well known in Ohio because of their ownership of the Cleveland Guardians baseball team. And he is someone who is very appealing to the more traditional Republicans in the state, the establishment Republicans who do not cheer on President Trump's claim that the election was stolen, a false claim. Dolan has distanced himself from that side of the Republican Party and perhaps given him a shot, himself a real shot at the Senate nomination. But J.D. Vance, who has Trump's endorsement, remains someone who's near or at the top of the polls. Yeah, Ohio's a tricky state. They can swing one way or another, depending on who the candidate is and what the issues are on the table. Bob Costa, thank you so much. Thank you.